Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to assemble the gas sensor grenade from start to finish. Guys, welcome back. We're going to try and assemble uh, a new version of the gas sensor grenade using the pre-made PCBs I got from Osh Park. Remember, you can get all of this on the Hackaday website. You can download the design files for these PCBs and make it yourself. So uh, for those of you who do want to make one, it's really, really easy. We're going to need a harness for our battery connection. Uh, this is a two cell LiPo. You can also use the Adafruit Power Boost version. Pretty cool little unit. But uh, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to wire it up with the LiPo. We need our transmitter module, the MQ2 gas sensor, an Arduino Nano, the PCB obvious, and some wire to hook it all up. Let's go ahead and put this thing together. Guys, not much to this really. What we're going to do is we're going to take and put our Arduino on the board, which I'm finding working behind a camera is extremely tricky. <laughs> but we'll do the best we can do here today, guys. <laughs> there we go. Slide that together. We'll go ahead and we'll solder up the Arduino onto the board. Not much to that. Next what we'll do, we're going to do the wires first. I've already pre-tinned these. We're going to do VCC first, so the large, the large plate is going to be ground. So I think we'll do these up through the bottom this time. And it looks like I tinned it a little much, but we're good. Get these through the board. We'll go ahead and attach them. Perfect. So we also want to use our pre-cut length of wire for our antenna. It's going to hook onto the module here. And I think we're going to be, how are we going to be putting this module? So the data pin is going to be to this side. So we're going to have it like this and VCC in the middle and ground on the far side. So I think what we want is we want our antenna coming off the back side here. So we'll go ahead and put it through that way. Let's go ahead and get our MQ2 sensor connections hooked up. We want, uh, this is what I had for wire kicking around, so it may not be the best here. It looks like I've got too much tuning on at least one of these. We want uh, 5 volts on the right, then we're going to skip a pin, and we're going to use signal next and ground next. So I think we'll hook it up somewhat, like so. I think we'll use white for our signal. Put that stuff through the window for go. And we're going to skip a pin. Gray will be our 5 volt in this case. Something like so. Just like that. Nothing to it. Double check our connections. Gray is going to be our 5 volt. White will be our signal. And ground. Just in that order. No problems. Take our module here. Actually, before we take the module, let's go ahead and trim these connections up. Because the less we have overhanging, the better. It's going to be a little tight with the module. And the next rev of board, what I'm going to change, I'm going to change, right now we're feeding the MQ2 from the 5 volt on the Arduino, which is pushing it pretty hard. And we'll change it and make it its own regulator. And we'll also move this back a little bit and make this a little better form pack factor and maybe double some things up. So uh, we'll see. Um, this is the first rev of these boards. So uh, I'm learning as I go. Works pretty good thus far. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to set this through that away. And uh, what you can do, you don't have to have this vertical. Um, we're going to do a little bend on it after, but uh, I wouldn't, these pins are pre-soldered, so I'm just going to use them, but uh, I wouldn't have put these pins this style. And there we go. All soldered up. Looks good. I think we'll uh, we'll even trim these off. Let's get rid of some overhang here. Unnecessary. Done. There we go. Make sure our module isn't shorting on any of the connections, which in this case, we are good. They are close, but they are not touching. We're good. Okay, 
take and power up our unit. We're good, no smoke. Good to go. We're going to take and we're going to hook up the MQ2. Remember, we used gray for 5 volt. You don't have to use these style connections. I'd wire it solid uh, without using these female headers, but uh, today this is what we've got. We've got our signal, which is our white, and our ground, which is our black. Go ahead and power this back up again. Make sure we don't have any more fun things going on. The MQ2 lights up. We're in good shape. Works like a champ. So now we have our pre-made unit. We just need to bundle it together and we're all set. Put this in the ball, mount some things, and we're golden. That's it. That's all there is to it. Should work like a champ, guys. Best of luck if you build one of these. Share the code back if you change it. Share the design back. We can make this thing better with all of us together. Cheers, guys.